Welcome and thank you for joining our discussions. We are presenting a question that was done in KCSE 2003 and the question we have reads, Halima deposited Kenya shillings 109,375 in a financial institution which paid simple interest at the rate of 8% per annum. At the end of two years, she withdrew all the money and then invested the money in shares. The value of the shares depreciated by 4% per annum during the first year of investment. In the next three years, the value of the shares appreciated. That means they gained value at the rate of 6% every four months. A. Calculate the amount Halima invested in shares. Remember, Halima invested the amount she withdrew from the bank after two years. The principal that was deposited in the bank was 109,375. This amount of money earned interest at the rate of 8% per annum simple interest for a period of two years. The first thing we do is to calculate simple interest on the principal of 109,375. Simple interest is given by principal times rate times time you divide by 100 and this one is going to give us 109 375 we multiply by 8 we multiply by 2 then divide everything by 100 and this one is going to give us exactly an amount equivalent to 17,500 17,500 17,500 is our simple interest. We can now get the amount by taking the principal plus interest. The principal was 109,375. We add 17,500. And this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 126,000. 126,875 as the total amount of money Alima invested in shares. We go to part B, calculate the value of Alima shares at the end of the first year. Remember, we have been told that uh, she invested the money in shares the value of the shares depreciated by 4% per annum during the first year. And therefore, at the end of the first year, we can calculate the value of the shares. So, first year, the value of the shares will be simply a decrease of 4% from 100, meaning we are simply going to remain with 96% of the total amount invested of 126,875 and this one is going to give us exactly an amount equivalent to 121,800. That is the value of Alima's shares after depreciating by 4% or simply losing value by 4%. Then at the end of the fourth year, to the nearest shillings. What we are going to do, remember, we are supposed to calculate the fourth year value. And we have been told that the shares appreciated at the rate of 6% for every four months for three years. How do we get the amount? In this case, the amount that is going to start appreciating is the amount of the shares for the first year, which is 121,800. We have to get the value of N. Remember the rate of interest is 6%. And 6% is the rate of appreciation for every four months. That means 
we are going to have a total of uh, a total of nine interest period. Remember, remember, if it is after four months, it means in one year, we are simply going to have three interest periods. We are going to have three interest periods. But for three years, we multiply by three to get a total of nine. Using again, because this is appreciation, amount will be equal to principal into one plus R over 100, you raise to the power of N. In this case, we are going to have the principal, which is 12,000, which is 121,800 into 1 plus the rate of appreciation has been given as 6%. We raise to the value of n, which is 9. From here, we are going to have 121,800. We multiply by, remember, 6 of 100 is 0 0.06. And is going to be equal to 1.06 raised by 9, which is going to give us 121. 121, which is going to give us a total of, let us use the calculator at this point. This one is going to give us an amount equivalent to 205,700. 779 to the nearest shilling. Then we go to part C. Part C, calculate Alima's gain from the shares as a percentage. So for us to get Alima's gain, we have to look at the amount of money Alima has received at the end of the fourth year, which is 205,700 and 79 minus the amount Alima invested, which was uh, 126,875. 126,875. And this one is going to be equal to 78,904. So to get the percentage gain, you take the gain, which is 78,904, over the original amount invested, which is 126,875. You multiply by 100%, and this one is going to give us approximately 62.19% as the answer to part C of this particular question. Thank you for watching, and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. You click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification. Thank you and welcome.